What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Sneaky Q, Mop Magazine. I got the home in the building. Hometown, Orangeburg County, 803, Transaction Jackson. What up, boy? What's going on with you, bro? Chilling, man, chilling. So you got some new music coming. Yeah. Dropped off some new music for you, boy. Yeah. Let's talk about the track, man. Well, uh, yeah, the uh, track is my new single called Cooking. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Produced by my partner, Grizzly, on the beat. Okay, okay. Yeah, all in-house production, you know what I'm saying? Mostly, anyway, you know, we do get a little, out, you know what I'm saying, outside production, but mostly in-house, Everything you know what I'm saying, trying to create our own sound. Definitely. All right, so let's talk about that track. That's more like an orange bird anthem, like I always tell people, you know. You can kind of tell the different music. You can tell more up north music. You can tell, like, down south Atlanta music, you know, the, the jumping around, you know, the club. But then, you know, that orange bird, that's definitely an orange bird track, man. Yeah, 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 most definitely. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's basically, it, it's it's an Orangeburg track, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's bread, you know what I'm saying? It comes from an orange, but it comes from Orangeburg, but, you know, it could be for any, you know what I'm saying? It's just a street track, you know what I'm saying to me, basically. All right, so, coming from Orangeburg, there's no real big names in music hailing from Orangeburg, South Carolina. No. I mean, I can't even really say South Carolina, period, more so in the rap game. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Why do you think, man, that it's, it has nobody popped from Bird or either Columbia or somewhere in South Carolina that we can be like, yo, they put it up, they put on for the city? Um, really, man. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people would say is unity. You know what I'm saying? That the artists don't come together, or you know what I'm saying, something like that, or maybe the artists don't come together with the DJs, or you know what I'm saying. It's all kind of excuses, but. I just really feel like, you know what I'm saying, I ain't seen nobody hungry enough out there, you know what I'm saying, to get out there and really put it on for the city, really. Definitely, man. So what do you feel is like a dimension that you bring to the rap game that you feel that make can take you to the next level? I mean, basically, like, originality, basically, because a lot of artists down south right now is, you know what I'm saying, basically trying to copy our A-Town sound, but that's what I'm going to bring to the uh, game is basically, like, originality a south carolina sound something they ain't never heard before because ain't nobody from south carolina ever been on no wife from south carolina been on you right man but I, my thing is when i think of when i think of orangeburg when i think of south carolina i think of a mixture of lyrics i think of a, a mixture of street yeah. music and i think a mixture of party dance just yeah. because orangeburg like i know you know we went to school together it was a lot of different people that went to school with us. People from yeah. New York, people from down south, people came from out west. It was just we had a diverse different people that we went to school with. And I think Orangeburg is more diverse than what people think because yeah, a lot yeah. of people up north have up north roots and stuff. So it's kind of like we kind of can, Orange, I feel Orangeburg music in general can be something different and should be something that can actually contribute to the music game because of our vers versatility and stuff. Yeah, I think so too. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's also a college town. Definitely. With uh, two HBCUs um, mm -hmm. with Claflin and uh, South Carolina State. You know what I'm saying? So that make it even more diverse. You know what I'm saying? So because they, they, you know what I'm saying? All kind of people come and roll in school there. So Definitely, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's artists. It's, it's all kind of artists on campus over there that we probably don't even know about. Yeah, and we'll they probably in the dorm rooms. You know what I'm saying? Once they, once they settle in to Orangeburg and start living here, you know what I'm saying? They basically claim it as home or a second home sometimes. So... I consider those as potential artists for South Carolina too so Definitely. you never know what we got out here you know what I'm saying there's a lot of potential out there I hear a lot of good music so let's talk about your upbringing let's talk about what influenced you to become a musician you know because I mean like you said you, you labeled Orangeburg as a gritty city yeah so let's talk about your upbringing as far as like growing up in the streets of Orangeburg well yeah um I was born in Orangeburg you know what I'm saying uh my pops was a uh, Jamaican. He was uh he was stayed in Florida, you know what I'm saying? My mom was born in uh North Carolina, but you know what I'm saying, we was basically like raised in Orangeburg. So I was born in Orangeburg, but I was basically like raised by way of Florida, so I was back and forth, like around Bradenton, Florida. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't familiar, that's like around Tampa, Saint Petersburg, something like that, you know what I'm saying? So I basically came up, you know what I'm saying, like that. So Maybe maybe being Jamaican is where I get my rhythm from, but uh, I know my uh, mama, she write a lot of poetry. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's where I get my writing from. But uh, as far as growing up in Orangeburg, man, you know what I'm saying? 
I dealt with a lot of hardships and everything, you know what I'm saying? My mother was addicted to drugs and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? And uh, being that my father was in uh, Florida and I was being raised by my grandmother in South Carolina, it was always distance there. So, you know, um, that's basically, you know what I'm saying? I had a lot pent up. So I just, you know what I'm saying? I use writing as a way to, you know what I'm saying? Express as, yourself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So once I started to do that, I just started to practice and I write, 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 you know what I'm saying? Nonstop. So obviously, you know, you're a big music head, I would say. Who are some of like guys that you think that I when you know, a lot of know like a lot of rappers, a lot of musicians say, Oh, I'm unique, I got more unique sound. But if you can kinda of compare yourself to or some of the guys that you listen to on a regular basis, who are some of those artists in the music game right now? Um Well, as far as being Transaction Jackson, my name was for him, the Wild Child, but you know what I'm saying? Um, I just recently uh switched over to Transaction Jackson and the name is picking up, it's going good, but Transaction Jackson is basically, I don't know if you ever heard of the movie uh, Action Jackson. Action Jackson, yeah. Yeah, so it's basically like the trap version of Action Jackson. So, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Basically with that, I would say, you know what I'm saying, you could compare me to something like, like, like uh, 2 Chains, Bank Roll Fresh, hey, maybe uh, PB Long Way, something some, some along, uh, gotcha. you know what I'm saying? along that category, but. Gotcha. Because like when I listen to like a couple of the tracks, I kind of can see some comparison like Big Crit some of those guys like that too so i mean one thing i would say though like as an artist from orangeburg and as an artist in general i think you guys more so need to look towards being more lyrical you know mm. because i would say because a lot of people in atlanta is more as upbeat you know up tempo stuff but what people south carolina be need to be known for lyrics you know mm. the lyrical content people can understand you know the struggle of growing up in Orangeburg because I mean Orangeburg is one of the toughest cities in South Carolina you know to grow up out of you know yeah but see we got a lot of that we got a lot of that and um but I could say like as far as the people you know what I'm saying being that I frequent the clubs and I see what people dance to and what they prefer to hear you know what I'm saying it's basically like a lot of party music dance music you know what I'm saying trap music stuff like that is what they prefer so you know what I'm saying? We could go the lyrical route, but it would be like going against the grain. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, I feel like far as the industry in, in, in the South overall is like, it that's the sound that they, you know what I'm saying, prefer. Definitely. Definitely. So do you, so more so your lyrics um, are more true, more real life, or you know what I'm saying? Or like when you go into the studio or you writing, Everything is coming straight off your head or experiences, correct? Because I mean, yeah. I think I heard one of the tracks. You was like, you know, um, I think on the on the cooking track, you said something. You know, you uh, you so you so you sold drugs to your mom or something like that. Oh yeah, um, all that is, all that is really true. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it's definitely not something I'm proud of. But you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? When you when you young and growing up in the street without with, with, with not too much guidance, you know what I'm saying? You, you tend to make, you know what I'm saying, stupid mistakes and, you know what I'm saying, you do a, you do a lot of things that you might regret, but pretty much everything I did, I don't regret, you know what I'm saying, because it just, it just was the, I, I played the cards I was dealt, you know what I'm saying, but still yet, I, 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 I find a way to wiggle my way out of the situation, so, you know what I'm saying, I kept a level head and everything, so, but, um, you know what I'm saying, that, that's definitely, I, I definitely spit a lot of facts in what, you know what I'm saying, my music. Definitely, man. Definitely. So what's so when the album coming out, man? When you, when we got an album coming your way? Well, um, right now, I got a couple of ideas for uh for some album titles and uh, a couple of different concepts for albums. But uh, right now we just focusing on uh, pushing out these singles. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get trying trying to get uh, the people to find that one thing that they're gonna fall in love with, and then you know what I'm saying. Once they do that. I got a uh, catalog full of music, so you know what I'm saying. Gotcha. I got, gotcha. I got, I got things lined up for you. Gotcha. Know what I'm whenever they, whenever they start biting, I got it for them. Definitely, man. So when you, th what you think gonna be the next single? Uh, right now it's looking like a track I got called Cola. It's uh, featuring one of my um, label mates, um, Hugo, Hugo the Capo. Okay. He did the hook. Um, you know what I'm saying? Produced by my partner Grizzly on the beat. You know what I'm saying? I did the verses or whatnot. But it's called Cola, you know what I'm saying? But uh It's gonna be the I next mean, one. I think, yeah, that's something that can definitely like heat up next summer sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But 
I'm so right now, you know, I just seen um, I just seen something You're supposed to be uh performing a Bonware Homecoming or something like that. Yeah, uh, Bonware Homecoming. I guess that's the high school homecoming. Yeah, but it's at a uh, club takeoff. Okay. Yeah, and that's in um, I don't know the exact address, but I know it's um, it's Bonware, South Carolina. But uh, I do got the fly on my IG, so you know what I'm saying, and all the information posted on there. Definitely, man. Definitely. So, what I need for you to do right now, man, I need you to tell all our viewers um, where they can find your music, um, all your social media, you know, SoundCloud, Spotify, all the different labels and different places where they can find your music. Yeah, well, uh, like I said, my name used to be Wild Child. Wild Child the Sun. That's Wild Child, D A S U N. And um, I got a lot of my. Um, latest mixtapes is wild child on uh datpiff.com so if you uh go to datpiff.com you could just search wild child or son like i told you spell it with d-a-s-u-n you can run it all together and you can find some of my old material like that as far as new material you can uh follow my soundcloud you know what i'm saying we just uh pushing these singles right now trying to see what the people like right now so my soundcloud is my name transaction jackson Jackson to spell S U N, not S O N. You know what I'm saying? Like the regular way you spell Jackson. But uh, you, know, you can um, find me on IG. You know what I'm saying? I give a lot of updates on music at IG, and that's a uh, transaction underscore Jackson S U N. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm also on Twitter, transaction Jack, transaction underscore Jack J A C. So uh, you know what I'm saying? Follow me, find me. From Orangeburg, Transaction Jack, boy. There you go. There you go. Well, look, man, I appreciate you for coming through, man, stopping through, yeah, bringing know. some music, chopping it up with me, man. Best of luck to you, brother, man. Yeah, man, appreciate it. Good that, to see man. you doing your thing, man. Already, man. You know, come about to be bird, 10 man. years, 10 years, man, since we yeah, graduated man. high school. I wonder what they're going to do with the reunion. I don't know, man. Well, look, appreciate you again, man. Best of luck. It's your boy, Sneaky Q, homie, Transaction Jackson, home team, 803, Bird County. We out.